If you are looking for the best shoes for supination, here is a collection you have got to see. Let's get started. Number 1. Most popular. Mizuno Men's 24 Running Shoe. This is a running shoe that's different from the rest. What sets the Rider 24 apart is its wave plate, a thermoplastic insert between the soft foam layers. Though this is limited to the rear and midfoot, it has a major impact on the ride quality. Though the Rider 24 has a softer midsole density, the wave plate makes the heel very stable and neutral. For this guide, this character trait is very desirable in a running shoe. The midsole picks no side, with both the inner and outer sidewall being pretty balanced. Number 2. ASICS Gel Nimbus 23 Running Shoes. This year and the last has been a great time for running shoes, and ASICS in particular. There's been a flurry of new releases from the Japanese brand, both old and new. The Nimbus 23 is one of the old legacy models. While an alternate Nimbus exists in the form of the light version, the 23 retains the Nimbus Ness it's been known for. And the 23 is perhaps the best traditional Nimbus to date. All the parts come together to deliver a cushioned and supportive ride. Considering the triple density midsole, the ride is very smooth. Number 3. Brooks Glycerin 19 Shoes. The Brooks Glycerin 19 hits the sweet spot of running shoes. With a balance of cushioning comfort and ride smoothness, the Glycerin's road manners are polite enough to please most runners. As a bonus, it's very neutral too. The cushioning is plush enough for all-day comfort while being smooth and supportive enough to let the foot do its thing. We share a similar opinion of the upper. The knit mesh exterior combines rear foot plushness with a smooth, seam-free interior. In short, the Glycerin 19 works for most runners. Number 4. Saucony Triumph 18 Running Shoe. The Triumph went under the knife in 2019, and what emerged was a renewed Triumph. It ditched the firmer Everrun midsole in favor of the softer and bouncier PWR Run Plus. Not only that, but Saucony also widened the midsole to increase the volume and stability. The Triumph 18 is similar to the 17, except that it has an improved and less constricting upper. The midsole delivers the same cushy ride experience that accommodates a variety of gait patterns without any instability. There's ample PWR Run Plus foam available under the foot regardless of the gait pattern. Number 5. Brooks GTS 21 Adrenaline Shoe. The new GTS 21 is nothing more than a supportive neutral. In other words, there's none of the motion control ride behavior that is the result of using a medial post. The adrenaline stopped using a medial post a few years ago, and that holds for the 21 too. The midsole has an unbiased yet cushioned ride quality that works for most runners. Though it is marketed as a stable version of the Ghost, both the shoes share a similar ride quality. So if you want to get the Brooks Ghost 13 instead of the GTS, Thank you.